Welcome to the platform. Um, today I'm chatting to Adiola da Costa. And yeah, you know, you might have seen her on Honey TV, you know, on a popular show called Pastor's Wife. Pastor's Wives, rather. And yeah, today we're just catching up with her, you know. How are you doing today? How are you feeling, Adiola? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, um, thank you so much for making time to chat to us. Uh, you know, we understand that, you know, uh, you are busy uh, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, in season one, you know, you mentioned that you do not want to be called a pastor's wife, right? Because of the pressures that come with the term. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so, so what are the what are the pressures? Tell us about the pressures of being a pastor's wife. Okay, I don't have any pressure being a pastor's wife because um, I'm not in church. I'm not active in church. My husband does not have a church. He's an ordained pastor after he attended the Bible school. So I don't have any pressure at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, so tell me, me, right? Sorry? Uh, I say you can hear me. Yes, yes, I can hear you perfectly. I can hear you perfectly. So tell me, okay. you know, <laughs> you're a business person and, uh, you know, and obviously you have other responsibilities, you know, and I'm going to keep saying pastor's wife because, you know, the show is pastor's wife. So how does it, um, you know, how yes. do you balance the two between being, um, you know, a business woman and obviously also having the responsibilities of being a family woman? Okay, well, um, it's um, we we work hand in hand together, my husband and I. So everything seems to be kind of balanced out. We have a restaurant and a studio, and it's in the same building. So we are always at work together. Like we leave home every day to come to our place of work. And, you know, I support his um, ministry. I support his, um, um, he does um, gigs and everything. I support everything he does. So we work hand in hand and we're able to balance that. So you know, the, uh, one of us is not burnt out doing just everything. We do everything together. So it's a thing of, uh, you know, yeah, two, two together just makes it beautiful. So I've been able to balance it out because I have a supportive husband and I also support his um, um, business and his career as well. So it works for the two of us. Okay, amazing. You know, and how, you know, what are some of the lessons that you've learned, uh, you know, being on the, on the, on season one of the show? Uh, and, you know, what are, what are those lessons that you've learned that you can share with us? <laughs> lessons oh well the thing is um you know every day when you meet new people new faces and everybody's from a different background so um growing up you know my parents would tell me that we should just take people for who they are we need to accept people for who they are and treat them accordingly so i can't expect you to be like me or i can't expect uh, mr a to be like mr c so I've been able to balance it out in such a way that I treat people the way, you know, they, I treat people according to their behavior. So if I see this person is a, you know, timid person, I treat them accordingly. If I see, oh, this one is a very stubborn, very troublesome lady, you know, I treat them accordingly. I just, you know, because I like my peace of mind. And I don't like people encroaching in my own <laughs> my own business. So I just take it easy, like just treat them accordingly so that um, we don't clash. So I've been able to accept that, accept people for who they are and just, you know, everybody is at peace really. Because if you want to impose yourself on other people, then there is a problem. Mm -hmm. And you know, Obviously, with, you know, being in, in, in church and being a woman of God, there are, you know, there is drama here and there. So, you know, because of like being, it's not easy being a modern day 
uh, Christian because obviously, you know, there's like social media, the world has changed so much. So, you know, what, what advice would you give to like, you know, especially young ladies, uh, you know, that are struggling with like, you know, religion and also being modern women in this day and age with so much pressures? What advice would you give to them? <laughs> pressure, pressure, pressure. They always have the pressure. Well, I will, you know, anybody that comes to me, I'll always say, just be yourself. Because the thing is, you can't satisfy everybody. You need to be yourself. You don't need to let um, other people's opinions affect you. You don't need to let um, other people's characters, you know, get to you because then you will now start acting funny and they will see you like, you just need to take it easy. Don't submit to pressure. Be yourself. Just be yourself. And as long as you know you're doing what is right, then it's fine. No pressure at all. Okay. And then and with the with the help of God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, my second last question is to you. Um, what would you, you know, for someone that has never seen the show, Pastor's Wives? Uh, what can they expect? What type of, you know, content is there? You know, what can people expect from the show that they've never seen and they want to watch it for the first time? Well, it's, um, you know, we are seven women from different ethnicity. So you are able to see how each and everyone behaves coming from the different backgrounds. And... Um, there's a little bit of um, drama here and there where, you know, because we all don't, it's not everybody that accepts what the other person does. Like I said, you know, you need to treat people accordingly, but it's not like that with everybody. That's just it. People have different temperatures. I may talk to you and you feel oh, she is nice. And I may say to another person and they feel oh, she's nasty. So for pastor's wives, you see how, you know, it's like sisterhood. Yes, we have our differences and all that, but you see us still coming together because there's one word, there's one word that brings us together and that is God, being Christians, child, children of God. And, you know, you want to behave accordingly. We are all not perfect. We all have our flaws. You know, we all have our flaws, but then the goal is, you know, we all want to make heaven, we all want to do things right in front of God, you know? So, yeah. It's um, that is what you should expect, really. Okay, and you know what can people you know expect from you? You know, because obviously you know you're not just a pastor's wife. You're Adiola. You you are your own person. Uh, you have your own business. You're doing your own thing. So, what can people expect from you personally moving forward? Uh, did you get that question? I think the network cut a bit. On the show? Yeah. So are you saying expect from me on the show? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. On the show and just in general, is there anything else that you're doing? Okay. Outside? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, on the, on the show, you get to see, you know, my everyday lifestyle, how I live, how I relate with my husband, how I relate with the other women. And um, aside that, yeah, our business is there. Our restaurant is there. You watch out for me at the food festivals, the food markets. I'm still here, you know, supporting um, Mr. Kunle Ayo as well. His brand, he just um, launched his um, new album. So he's doing a bit of a, you know, touring right now and doing shows here and there. So, yeah, so we're out there. Mm -hmm. okay i know thank you so much for your time i appreciate it and yeah good luck with the show ne? thank you have a nice day all right you too bye okay bye